Hello, hello. I, as some of you may know, I've been really studying Jesus and the lifestyle of Jesus. And, and um, it is just so fascinating, so fascinating. And today I wanted to just talk about the whole um, power of the silence and solitude, the whole power of that. And that even you can take a moment, I can take a moment any time during the day and just tap into that silence and solitude, knowing that there is no situation that is too much for God. Any situation that I'm facing, good or bad, if I just realize that and consciously tap into God, consciously tap into the wisdom that is there, then I'm going to be in a better space and I can consciously do that just in the moment. Closing my eyes, taking a deep breath, whatever it may be, no matter the circumstance, I can do that. And that's the silence and solitude. So if I, if I feel overwhelmed in any situation, I just need to seek a little silence and solitude. That's all. Involve God in the decision. It could be just seconds or it could be take a minute or take 10 minutes, whatever it may be. But the more you and I can think like God, be like Jesus, <laughs> be like him, not what would Jesus do, that is not the message. It's be like Jesus. What would Jesus be like today in my circumstance right here in the world as it is right now for me, my reality? How would he choose? in a particular situation that I'm in, that you're in. And I think there's just such wisdom there. I do believe now that God does put us through trials, but it's, it's to learn something. It's to learn a valuable lesson that's gonna serve us going forward. Uh, so it's just an amazing uh, mind space to be in. And that's my hope today is that these words have, have somehow brought some new awareness to you around the power of silence and solitude and just resting in the fact that our Father is with us every second of every day. And this is, even if you're not a God person, seek that peace, seek that silence, that solitude. Get in touch with whatever, whatever it is that you need to get in touch with to get your heart on pure thoughts, to get your actions focused on pure, pure things. Okay, we'll see you next time.